Round one of the NCAA tournament, or I should say day one of Friday, was crazy. Of course, Ohio State goes down, Tennessee goes down, North Texas beats Purdue. Um, crazy games this week. Of course, then Wisconsin has blows out North Carolina. That was shocking. Uh, Michael, what did you think of first day of March Madness? I couldn't believe Ohio State lost. I mean, the final score was 75-72 in overtime. Oral Roberts' first ever win in an NCAA tournament since 1974. Can you believe that, Mike? No, I can't. That's crazy. And, uh, of course, my bracket is busted. Um, It also doesn't help when North Texas beats Purdue and Tennessee gets beaten. I think I had Tennessee at least going to the Sweet 16. How's your bracket, Michael? Uh, well, obviously Ohio State. Uh, I think I had Virginia Tech winning, and they lost. And then Tennessee. I think those are the only three losses I have. Well, usually after round one, you only I usually only have two or three losses, but I think I at least have four. It's, this was just not. A, I I don't think this is going to be a good year. However, again, if you guys signed up for the bracket challenge hosted by our podcast, you can go check that out. Um, so, anyways, um, let's go back to the Ohio State Oral Roberts game. I mean. Did you see a scenario, or could you see a scenario where Oral Roberts runs the table and goes all the way to the Final Four? I don't think so. I think uh, they might be able to make it to the lead eight just because I think they, I, there's a chance it could be Florida. And then after that, I don't know who they'd play, but yeah, I could see them maybe going to the lead eight at the uh, most, but I don't think they're going to make it to the Final Four. I mean, Let's be honest. I don't even know if they'll go to the next round. I'll have to see who they play next. But, I mean, Oral Roberts, great story, great run. I just think it's probably going to end on Sunday. However, that could that could change. But I'm assuming it all end on Sunday. But um, what was your analysis of the game, Michael, when you were watching Ohio State get beat by Oral Roberts? Well, first off, I think uh, I'm pretty sure they play Florida. And I think that if they can beat Ohio State, Florida is definitely a very winnable game for them. So. But I don't know how far they're going to make it past that. Uh, for the actual game itself, I thought Ohio State didn't really shoot the ball well. Uh, P.J. Washington didn't play good at all. I think that was a big thing. And then, yeah, they just shot. Oral Roberts just outplayed them, I think. Um, do you think Ohio State was outcoached in the game versus Oral Roberts? Yeah, I think so. I think – to, I don't know if it was just me, but I think Oral Roberts kind of played harder than Ohio State did throughout the game. Well, I mean, yeah, Oral Roberts was probably more hungrier. And, of course, Ohio State at one time could have been a number or was predicted to be a number one seed. So that's a huge upset. Not many 15 seeds beat two seeds, but it's happened more than a 16 seed being the number one seed. But it's just crazy. Um, get ready for a lot of upsets this year. And there's a good chance we could have two Cinderella teams in the final four. Uh, Michael, Tennessee takes on um, – can't. Oh, yeah, Tennessee ends up losing. Uh, what happened to the Volunteers on Friday? Uh, I don't know. I think Oregon State was just kind of a little bit under the radar, and I think they kind of underestimated them. And it's crazy that, you know, Oregon State didn't really start off that year that good, but since they win the Pac-12 championship, uh, I mean, they've been on a tear recently, so – well, I mean, the Pac-12 has been criticized all year for how poorly the conference is in just any type of sport. But, I mean, for Oregon State to go out and beat Tennessee, that's huge. I mean, the SEC, I mean, Tennessee took on or well, Tennessee was in the SEC where Alabama dominated. There was no really dom- dominating team in the Pac-12. So, for Oregon State to win, that's a huge day for the Pac-12. And, I mean, if you're a Pac-12 fan, you got to be excited for Oregon State because, again, this helps them tremendously. Um could you see a scenario where Oregon State runs the table? Uh, yeah, I think they could probably make it to the next uh, the next round. I'm not sure about after that though. Um, it's it's really crazy. Now I didn't I was not able to watch the Oregon State and Tennessee game. I was able to watch some of the highlights, but 
it's crazy to see how a team like Tennessee can fall to a to an Oregon State team. I mean, this Oregon State team, Tennessee was a lot better. I'll just say that. So for them to lose, and at one time Tennessee was considered to be in the SEC champions. So for Tennessee to go beat get beat by Oregon State in the first round is not a good look, especially for the SEC. Uh, Michael, you had some other games you wanted to talk about. Uh, the Oklahoma State Liberty game I thought was really close. Uh, K Cunningham really didn't play that good, and I kind of was getting worried about that. But they ended up winning. So, yeah, I caught that game as well, and I was at first I was really sweating him because I'm like, "Are you serious? Is Liberty really going to go out and beat Oregon State?" No, Liberty's really tough. But yeah, Cade Cunningham didn't play great, but Oklahoma State was still able to move on, advance to the next round. Um, I mean, what did what did you think about that game, Mike? How, why do you think Oklahoma State struggled with Liberty? Well, I think Liberty was also a pretty good team, and I think they're kind of would have been a good sleeper pick too, just because I think they're better than a lot of people give them credit for. And then I think Oklahoma State really is – they're a good team, don't get me wrong, but I think – they really depend on Kate coming him to play good, I think. You think Liberty was seated too low? Uh I think I can maybe Dice Die would have put them first as like an eleven seed. I don't think that they're any higher than that. Um, another game that happened earlier, Georgia Tech um, ends up holding on to beat or no, excuse me, Loyal Chicago ends up going on to beat uh, Georgia Tech. Um did you expect Loyal Chicago to win or get beat by the ACC champions? I had them winning in my bracket. Yeah, I mean, I had I had Loyal Chicago as well. Um, they had a great season, Missouri Valley Conference champions. Um, I'm, I think I have them going to the Sweet 16, I think, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, what was your favorite moment from day one of uh, March Madness? My favorite moment would probably have to be that uh... – Ohio State and uh, Oral game, just because that was the one game I got to catch. So, and yeah, it was a crazy game. I mean, that wouldn't have been fun for me. I know you're a big Iowa fan, so that's kind of fun to watch Ohio State lose. But I mean, my bracket is completely busted with that loss. And I mean, if someone had Oral Roberts beating Ohio State, I doubt that was their main bracket. I cannot, I cannot believe that <laughs> if someone really had for their main bracket at Oral Roberts winning. Um, all right, so on to the next, on to tomorrow, Gonzaga, teams like Gonzaga, I will play. Um, could you see in any, could you see any upsets happening for tomorrow? Uh, I'd have to look at the list, uh, before, but no, I do think that if Iowa does win, I don't think they're going to make it in the second round. I think in my bracket, I had them losing to Oregon in the second round. Wow, so you don't think I was a number two seed is going to be able to advance to the at least to the elite eight? Listen, as an Iowa fan, I just don't trust them. Well, I mean, I think I have them going to the Sweet Sixteen and losing to Kansas, but I mean, I could see Iowa making it right now. They haven't made the Final Four since 1980, so that's not a great look. But I mean, I don't know. I think they're going to at least beat Oregon and go to the Sweet 16, but I don't know. We'll see. I think Luca Garza, though, still doesn't hurt his chances for College Player of the Year. Thanks for listening to the Sports Town Podcast, or the SDP Pod for short. If you want to check out more videos of the Sports Town Podcast, click on the left. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click on the right.